Hey bitches, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we reacted to Whitney Houston. It's a Whitney Houston reaction. No, it's not. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Um, who sang I Will Always Love You the Best? I want to hear everybody who is in, on this list. Why? Because they say that Jennifer Lopez, out of all incredible people, is going to be paying tribute to Whitney Houston, I Will Always Love You and whatnot. And I'm thinking to myself, why her? Like, she's a great performer, she's a great dancer, she can put on a freaking show, okay? As a singer, I don't think that her even... Uh, I don't think that her abilities are that good that she can pay a very good, respectable cover to, to Whitney. I, I don't know, I just felt it was a weird choice to cast her. I have my own opinions on who should be doing it, but before I tell them, we're gonna react to this just so I can kind of see who are they suggesting or because this was like a two-year-old video or something. And also I will include somebody at the end who will also put as a separate video as well. So it's gonna be in this video and as a separate video, a reaction, just so you guys can vote if that person, a singer from uh, this part where I live in the Balkans, singer from Serbia, if she would pay a good, you know, respectable cover for Whitney, so we'll see. Before we jump into this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I feel like I rambled way too long, so let's just hear a lot of these people. Oh, what about all of this? I wish you We love Dolly, we love Dolly, we think she's really fun, we, she's a great person, she's super entertaining to watch, she's a smart lady, she sang this song originally as we should all know by now, um, and yeah, that's about it, that's all I'm gonna say, so let's just, it's probably not gonna be Whitney and so on, let's hope. Or not. Leona Lewis, we're gonna say this, okay? Leona Lewis in her prime could pay a, could, could pay respect to Whitney Houston's version of "I Will Always Love You." She really could. This was not. This was good. It really was. It was good for the show at that time as well. It was perfect. But it's just like you can hear where she didn't have to add vibrato, like where she should have sustained straight note to, and then add the vibrato at the end. But her falsetto is just always so heavenly. I really like her vibrato. I always did. Even when she's slower or when it's faster, I really did. I, I, I thought that we, that Leona Lewis was one of the best singers we had at that time in her prime. It's a shame that she lost her voice today. If she was in her prime, let's say around 2011 or 2010, I think she would have been a good candidate to pay respect to Whitney Houston's version. I will say that. But because she's no longer that, I'm sorry, let's hear somebody else. I really like the one I do. We're gonna stop it here. This was actually better than I would anticipate for her. I had no Cool that she was on this list, of course. But it was better than I thought it would. It looks a bit older, like, I mean, she looks like if she was younger here. I know that she has some theater background, which is a shame that she's not doing much of that anymore. Like, her voice, to me, is kind of, like, empty and plastic, is what I call it. Like, she's a great singer. I, like, I don't know if she's ever really, truly that off-key, like, at times, yeah. But usually she sings pretty flawlessly. It's just that the tone of her voice... It's just not what I like. It's not what I prefer. 
that's about it honestly it's all very subjective but i don't think that she's the person to cover whitney houston's version i i just don't think that that would be great even here like you can hear that it sounds good but it almost sounds like she's running out of support and stamina at, at the end of the belt which is weird um yeah it's good this sounded actually pretty good but yeah i don't think that she's the person for that This last head voice was heavily here. Head voice is pretty good. I will say this: I actually liked her voice here. I actually did. The, I feel like when you sing such songs that are iconic as "I Will Always Love You," you have to sing it in your own way, with your own spin, or you have to sing it better than the original, or just as good as the original. But because majority will not be able, or, or anybody will will not be able to sing it as Whitney Houston did, it's just. It, that's, it's, it's best to sing it your own way and that's what Yolanda did and I actually preferred it that way. Could she have sang it Whitney Houston's way? I'm not sure, maybe, possibly. I cannot tell you, I can imagine it where she would just keep the, as I said, straight tone, then add the vibrato, then add the head voice, how it all goes in, in, in Whitney's version. I think she would have been a good candidate back then or maybe even a bit earlier than she was in her prime. Like today, because she's a bit older, I don't think that she would be the perfect person. Still better than Jennifer Lopez, probably. <laughs> maybe she'll surprise us. I don't know, maybe J-Lo will actually surprise us. I have very little hope for that, but we'll hear. I do like J-Lo, but we'll see. Yeah, so we're just skipping this as well. We're not still getting to my picks. go back why okay I think that it's better to sing straight note and then when you say EI <laughs> that's where the vibrato should kick in you know what I mean like I feel like it just sounds better vocally like when you hear that it just sound it makes sense to do it that way so I don't know why everybody's adding vibrato before the actual part where the vibrato should kick in I don't get it and now it should have been vibrato or that it could have been all straight now. Ariana, can you just not move? Why not actually why not pay a tribute to that song? as a duo I think a duet would be would be fun actually to have harmonies I think that would actually be pretty cool but they can't even find one person to do a lot alone too so yeah <laughs> I get it this is actually good it really was it possibly would be the best that we had so far in terms of like competing to who would sing a tribute to Whitney but yeah I, I think Kelly Clarkson could do it I would not choose her just it's very subjective again I wouldn't choose her but I think that she could do it and everybody would love it. I don't think anybody would, would say anything bad about it. Oh god. I hated this. Not only did she miss the cue, also her horrible vibrato. 
But she did sing it her own way, so I can say that. She definitely didn't do the original version. I can't tell if Pink was like, I like it, or like, what the hell is this mess? Her eyes are very pretty. I need to say this, I need to say this, it was just not good. Like, I know that Whitney Houston herself said that Christina could pay respect to her when needed to be done. And I have heard her sing other songs that she just freaking nailed. But I can I but I think because this was out of her prime and because she I think it was visible that she was nervous, it was just not good. Her vibrato, which is never really there in her belts, just felt very off here. She missed the cue when, when the chorus started. It felt a little bit out of out of the key at certain points with the falsetto. It it was just weird. It was very it, it was messy. It wasn't it, it, it sounded like uh, an amateur singing at like a competition show. It really did and I love Christina and I hated that that happened because I really wanted her to like deliver this. I feel like that she probably could do it if she was to sing in a normal way and not with her froggy sound. I feel like if she just relaxed her damn throat and not tried to, to do it like she usually does, it would actually turn out well and if she was like relaxed. But this was just not it in any way. It, it was pretty bad. I'm sorry it was. Again, vibrato. I will say this, everyone and their mother is saying that Jennifer Hudson should do it and over over Jennifer Lopez, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, and I think that she, like, we all know, Jennifer Hudson just goes ham, she just goes in whatever she sings, she just goes super hard on the song, and that is fine. I do not like her tone when she starts doing all that wind up nasally, just sharp sound, I just don't like that. I think that she today has much more taste though and I think that she would be actually a good candidate so I will say that I think that it would make sense for her to do it and I think that she would be smart enough not to overdo it where it would sound a bit irritating I think she would do it well however my picks believe it or not would be more set Aman I think that she today would just nail that like everything would be perfect I really do believe that, but of course they're not gonna get her because they're like, who is this person that's not in America? Like, I just know that. So, Morissette is out, but I would love, like, she's my first pick. Actually, act yeah, let's put her sec. she's my second pick. My first pick is Glennis Grace. That woman, I mean, she already sang it, we already know how it sounds, and I think that it would make just perfect sense for her to do it, because even there, like, everyone calls her the second coming of Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think that it would make sense for her to do it. I don't know why they wouldn't. She just sounds flawless, like she would be the best choice. And then my third choice would be Jessie J, because we saw her, we heard her sing that at the singer reaction, at the singer competition, and she sounded pretty damn good. Like, those, like, those three ladies, including, let's say, Jennifer Hudson, if she couldn't, if she has taste while she delivers the performance, like, those four ladies are like the best picks that we have today. 
nobody else in my opinion just would be that good it just it, like I, I don't like I feel like they could get all four of them like I know that either like e each one they could get whenever they wanted to they would pay them well they would of course love to do a tribute it, and, and I just think it's weird that Jennifer would do it but here we come to the last person she's a Serbian singer and I'm gonna include this here in this video so you don't have to go and see that one but if you do please go check it out because I think I'm gonna post this separately too because it deserves it, okay? So let me do the intro, okay? Hey bitches, welcome back to Maya Nikolic reaction, okay? That's her name, Maya Nikolic, and she's singing I Will Always Love You. <laughs> she is the most uh, awarded sing festival singer in Serbia, according to her. She has some hit songs. Here's the thing, the title, if you can't read Serbian, it says Maya Nikolic sings in an imaginary language. <laughs> <laughs> with translation so yeah uh, this performance is something else it's it, it's it, it you'll hear it I, I don't even know what to t I, I feel like you'll hear everything right now <laughs> you just need to brace yourselves because this is gonna be a journey okay oh my lord let's before we just jump into subscribe to my channel if you haven't already suggest me what other sing singers to react to good or bad I want to see both okay <laughs> so Let's just see this. Oh Lord, are we ready? Let's go. I should say I don't leave you away. So good, so good. <laughs> But I know I'll think of you every step of the way. You guys, I'm telling you right now, if you're standing, if you're walking, whatever it is that you're doing, sit down. <laughs> I need you to sit down because this is gonna be just on the, ep on the epic scale, you need to hear this. And I'm gonna replay it again. So sit down, have you sat? Okay, girl, let's go. Okay, let's hear it again. Are we ready? Okay, I know you're set right now after hearing this, so let's just do it again. Okay, let's do it again. What the hell is it? So I think that she would be the perfect person to sing this song to pay tribute to Whitney. I, I, I just think that that would be flawless and I don't know why she hasn't been asked to do it because I think that's ridiculous. She should be doing it. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't, oh well, I didn't as well. So <laughs> that's it guys. Thank you for being here. I really hope you you'll come back for whatever next reaction is okay, and that's about it Thank you for being here. I hope to see you in the next video. Okay. Thank you. Bye